Hello world, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to convert an MP3 to an M4B with chapters. You're going to need uh, three bits of software, so you're going to need iTunes, you're going to need QuickTime Player and you're going to need a program called Chapter and Verse. Uh, you, need quick, you need the QuickTime Player because Chapter and Verse won't run without QuickTime Player installed. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open iTunes and I'm going to drag the MP3 into the library. I'm then going to click on the MP3 uh, audiobook and then I'm going to find the files that are, that are in there. If there's multiple files just hold control or command and click and select them. I'm then going to go to file convert and I'm going to convert these to AAC versions. So essentially M4As. Okay, and that's because chapter and verse can't work directly with MP3s, so you need to convert them into uh, something slightly different. So we're going to let that convert. It takes, uh, it takes a few minutes depending on the size of the book. Um, I don't advise piracy of any kind, so these are books that I have either in Audible um, or that I have uh, encoded via CD from old collections that I have. I'm very much into audiobooks, have been for years. So do make sure you have a copy of the audiobook. So the reason you might want to do this is that um, you might want to play it on a different device, onto an MP3 player or even via a different app. Okay, so it's really, really good to be able to convert your audiobooks. Okay, so we're going to let that finish and once that's done, I can show you how we uh, convert this in chapter and verse. So let's come back in a few seconds. Okay, once that's complete, we're going to open the chapter and verse software. This is free and I'll put a link in the description below. We right click on the AAC version, click show in Windows Explorer. And you'll see here, if we check the file extension, we now have an M4A, and we can drag that to our desktop. Close that down, and we can actually delete that out of our library now. So delete from library and delete songs. We can then delete the MP3, and we're just gonna drag in the M4A into chapter and verse and that loads it up. Now the problem is it doesn't have chapters at the moment, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. So what we're going to do is, um, well actually it gives a warning and it means that the total size of the file is too big and won't work on some classic iPods. This isn't really an issue anymore, so you can just ignore this. In the old, the olden days, you had to split the file up and then um, encode multiple MP M4Bs for one book, which was a nightmare. So we go to chapter tab and on the side it gives you lots of options. Now I usually add chapters at every 15 minutes unless it's a really small audiobook and just click chapters and you can see there it says interval. If you want it to say chapter you can you can use the the um, identifier at the bottom. You can have chapter, part, file and so on. And then it will change it and it'll be chapter one, chapter two. Really, really quite nice. You can uh, clear all chapters if you want, so you don't have any chapters. Um, but like I say, we're going to put chapters in at every 15 minutes. And then all you need to do is um, you can go into the metadata tab and you can add the artwork. So if you're missing artwork from your audiobook, you can download that in a JPEG and just drop it onto that square there. You can add comments, you can change the album. And if you're doing multiple parts, you want to make sure the album name is the same so as it all appears uh, the same in your apps and your players. Um, and then all you do is click build audiobook. Save it somewhere and you are pretty much done. So you see the progress bar at the bottom, let that complete. Once that's complete, your M4B will be made and um, have it all its chapters in there. Now, if you're really, really dedicated, you could go through the audio, uh, the MP3 file, and you could find all the chapter locations, but I'm happy with it chapterized every 15 minutes. And that's it. Just remember that if chapter and verse doesn't run, it will be because you don't have QuickTime Player installed. So do make sure you have QuickTime Player installed. Um, I hope that's been helpful. Uh, please comment below if you know of an easy way to do this.